I would like to introduce our second career mentor today, Scott Jeffrey, is an aquaculture senior instructor with Dalhousie University at the Agricultural Campus. Scott, how are you? Hey, not too bad. Thank you for inviting me, Nicola. Thanks Glad for to coming. Be That's exciting. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your job, what you do? And um, so, you know, where are you right now? I see some fish behind you. Oh, yes. Well, I'm in my basement right now. I'm actually presently marking the last lab activities that, uh, for the semester. As you know, Dalhousie did not have any uh, in-class sessions this year. Uh, we're all working from home diligently, so we had to put all the courses online. So try to put a fish uh, handling course online. It's not an easy task, and I spent all summer developing labs to suit the online components of this uh, particular uh, uh, semester. So these are my uh aggressive fish they're convicts and there's some cichlids back there i do not teach with these guys these are a personal hobby of mine i they were in my office at work so i had to move everything out of my office back in march to home i had an aggressive tank these are quite aggressive fish and i had some community fish that were moved into another uh, uh staff member so she's taking care of them <laughs> So I have a presentation, should I present that? Super. Welcome everybody. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about aquaculture, consider a career path in aquaculture. I never thought I was gonna be in aquaculture, but when I was growing up and your age, uh, I thought I was always gonna be a, a veterinarian. And I'm gonna go over some of my stuff that uh, has gone on in my life and brought me to this point in life and uh, why I considered aquaculture as a career. So one thing to note that there's lots of opportunities out there in aquaculture right now. It's the probably the highest growing uh, product sector in the world right now. And it's it's got to expand. It's got to double production in the next 20 years to try to feed the, feed the world. Um, and that's plain and simple. So uh, my story. So my story, I grew up in Cape Breton. I graduated from Riverview High School. I was always around the ocean. My grandfather was a lobster fisherman. My uncle was a trapper. He was a fisherman. My dad didn't do much. He liked the fish too, but we dug clams together. And, you know, that just uh, brought a sense of uh, community, family, being around the ocean, a little bit of salt water in my blood all the time. And I never thought about aquaculture as a, uh, as a career path, but uh, I'll go over that in a bit. So, yeah, my family, I have a brother. Uh, he's a falconer. The Toronto Airport. He, he uh, flies birds at the uh, Pearson Airport, uh, and uh, he, he's doing a great job. Twenty years now. My sister is also in Toronto. She's a singer songwriter for SoCan, and you can see her uh, debut album back in a few years ago. And uh, she writes. She does a lot of the stuff in Songwriter Circle. I have a daughter, Paige, and she's eight years old. And my wife, Angie. Uh, why is that going up? Uh, and this is, so I graduated NSAC in 1996, which is Dalhousie now. It's in Churro campus. Uh, this is me and my fourth year project, honors project. I, uh, reason I got, reason I uh, chose aquaculture, I was gonna be pre-vet and the marks, the marks were quite high uh, that you needed to get into vet school. So my marks weren't that great. So I, I visited the farm in Seal Island Bridge, and uh, the rest is history. I seen some big 20-pound salmon swimming right underneath the cages. I was walking right on top of them, and that just blew my mind that people could actually do this. So uh, that's that kind of brought me forth into aquaculture. So uh, 1997, I joined uh, Cook Aquaculture uh, at a hatchery in New Brunswick. I was a technician and in less than a manager in less than a year I was a manager of that particular farm we were raising three quarter of a million salmon uh, so I've been with several companies growing up uh, or the last 20 years or so I've been with Cook Aquaculture I've been Cermac BC West Virginia Aqua in the US GL and Aqua I've been with Novartis uh, Lanco and PEI and I started teaching with Dell in 2010 as a finfish tech senior instructor uh, I teach shovel courses such as intro to aquaculture, aquatic ecology, and shellfish production. And I've had a lot of hats. 
I've been a technician, a manager, a supervisor, a researcher, a scientist, a teacher, a mentor, you know, all these, all these uh, job duties that I've had the last few years. So what is aquaculture anyways? For those of you that don't know, it is uh, the controlled farming of finfish, shellfish, and aquatic plants. So you're basically, you're farming the ocean. You're farming the aquatic environments. And it takes place in freshwater, saltwater, on land, or on ocean, or freshwater lakes and ponds. So it's all over the world. And, to, and it contributes uh, astonishing $1.4 billion to the Canadian economy. $1.4 billion. Let that sink in. Plus, that's not to mention the spin-off businesses that uh, it uh, creates. And over 16,000 Canadians are employed in aquaculture directly. That's not including the spin-off jobs either. So there's, it's, it contributes quite a bit to uh, our Canadian economy. There's a lot of, lot of growth out there. Why did I choose aquaculture? Well, I'm passionate. I love aquaculture. I love fish. I love working outdoors. Uh, the, uh, the industry folks, I mean, I met so many great people, uh, lifelong friends, you know, colleagues. A lot of them that are working in these aquaculture farms are family business, so it's been in their in their life for generations and generations, and it's just they're salt of the earth people, and you know I I would trust any I would trust uh, them with my life and the respect that goes along with shellfish feed people and finfish sharing information is just amazing. The opportunities to learn is endless. Honest to God, it's uh, it's crazy the technology that's involved with aquaculture. Uh, it's growing. It's uh, it's dynamic. It's a cr crazy changing environment. Uh, from year to year, you never know what's going to come out with uh, technology and uh, innovations and the sustainability access as aspect of uh, aquaculture itself is growing. Uh, it's safe for the environment. It's I mean don't believe what you read in the newspaper all the time it's it, it can be quite one-sided i was going to talk to you about salaries awesome amazing there's always room for advancement that's what's good about this job you can see I, i've had a lot of jobs opportunities a lot of job titles i uh, make a very comfortable living right now you know full-time folks get anywhere from 40 to a hundred thousand dollars i mean if you're an owner of a company you're making millions of dollars uh students in our program you know it's, uh, Part-time summer students uh, usually get about $15 to $20 an hour. That's here on the East Coast or West Coast. They have a choice, usually. I'll talk about that a little bit in a few seconds. And global opportunities, uh, endless. I mean, you can go anywhere you want, really, if you want to stay in this uh, field of study. Or you can stay close to home, which is great. Uh, there's lots of uh, opportunities here in Nova Scotia, PEI. Uh, New Brunswick and Newfoundland. So there's there's shellfish, finfish, and seaweed uh, companies out there that uh, are looking for people, looking for good people. Uh, it's just some of my pictures from the past. Uh, some of my FAFU students, uh, fourth year project, me out west with my dyed blonde hair, which is crazy. <laughs> Nicola, you never seen that. And this is me fishing. One of, yeah, just family life. That was uh, me managing a farm back in 1999 in new brunswick so that's some of the reasons i chose aquaculture education and training think about uh if, if you think about dalhousie we do have an aquaculture program here in churro and the halifax main campus ours is a little bit more hands-on i think i think and you can do a bsc an aquaculture major or minor but you can also do an animal science degree if you wanted to and take some aquaculture courses we do offer a certificate as well you you can take uh, five credit courses, uh, 15 credits all together, and you can get a certificate in aquaculture. So that will be, that will go along with your animal science degree or engineering degree or environmental degree, whatever you want to take. So that's some, uh, you can do a double major, you can do a double minor. It's uh, There's lots of avenues you can explore to uh, to study here at Dell. Uh, there's master's, MSc is a master's and PhD opportunities here at Dell through aquaculture in my program. And we do have uh, four professors that teach uh, aquaculture here. And there is a marine biology and oceanography uh, program as well at, that's offered at the main campus in, uh, in Dalhousie. I just want to mention, I, I'm with Dalhousie, but I'm going to mention this anyway. NSCC does have a program in Shelburne, just brand new this year. 
It's a 19-week course, and uh, I think you get a certificate in aquaculture. So that's in Shelburne. Uh, like I said, it's a dynamic environment. It's changing every year. So there's uh, the, the things you learn are going to be different than five years ago here. So with technology and everything, and feeding programs, and equipment, and greeting gear, and vaccinations, and it's just it's it's incredible. It's uh, uh, I wish I could show you a bunch of videos from uh, some of my labs. Uh, so technology and research and development. There's always challenges out there. There's always innovations going on. And some of the useful skills that you can take with you, diving cert certification, boating licenses, safety courses, you know, do your volunteer experience. Do get do some volunteering. I mean, that's going to build your character. Okay, guys? Uh, I And get involved in the community. Get involved in outdoor activities. Uh, don't be shy. Uh, communication is key for this uh, industry. We're always communicating with health fish, the fish health and other, other employees. And uh, your work ethic is also very important. Be strong, be confident. Uh, uh, your personal attributes, you know, the respect, you know, trustworthy, tardiness, you know, stuff like that. Uh, all these things are going to, employers are going to want to keep you for the long run if, you, if you're a good person and uh, all these skills and your work experience. Work, work as much as you can from your peers, okay? Learn as much you learn as much as you can from your peers. So that's people like me and your bosses, and take everything in as much as you can. Careers in aquaculture. You might be thinking about career. This is a picture I've taken probably two thousand and three. There's a buddy of mine that we we were stripping broodstock, Atlantic salmon broodstock. This is a huge male. He's probably the 45, 50 pounds. And this, this was down in the South Shore, Nova Scotia. So several different career paths. I mean, fish farm technician, manager, saltwater production manager, hatchery technician, hatchery manager, environmental regulation affairs managers, fish health technicians, aquaculture engineers, research scientists, divers, boats captains, and policy advisors, regulatory affairs, aquaculture development, habitat biologists, research technician, aquaculture divers, uh, feed production Technician, aquatic veterinarians, very important. This is big up and coming right now. Processing line supervisor, processing line operators, feed plants, IT. You need IT, and many, 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 many more uh, areas of uh, employment. So the opportunities are endless. Like I said, it's a, yeah. it's 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 crazy. This is and, great inf great information, Scott. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. This is a few of the companies that actually come to our campus to recruit every year so we have a cadian sea plants aficionados shandaff oysters true north these guys actually come to our our uh, campus they do a presentation and they do job interviews the next day or day of so we've had more than 20 students uh, get jobs in one summer or full-time and part-time from bc cermac you know moe aquaculture association bay enterprises greek seafood so these are all companies that come to me looking for students for employment. Right now we have a problem. And the problem is we cannot supply them enough students. So that's, that's a amazing. That's, that's a that's a good good problem to have, but it's a bad problem to have. Mm -hmm. So just think about it. This, this, these are all companies in based in Nova Scotia. Most of them, yeah. They all have roots there in Nova Scotia. So and we are we are going to start taking some questions here as you go along, Scott, if that's okay. And I do want to say, I love the piece that you say about the sense of community within your industry with the people that you work with. That's wonderful. Um, and I'm going to throw one question at you. When you said uh, the total number of people working in aquatics and you said spin-offs or spin-off businesses. And one of the questions was, do you mean restaurants or do you mean the, the other, the other things that you listed? Sure. Yeah. Spin-off restaurants, you mean uh, community events. I mean, we have the Oyster Fest in Halifax. I mean, how many spin-off jobs are created just from that event alone? Uh, you know, uh, the tourism industry, uh, people going out on tours for looking at, uh, you know, looking at how shellfish are raised or finfish are raised. So there's uh, trucking, shipping, you know, it just, it's, it's, so, it's so massive. And this, uh, this video, did you see the video? Mm-mm. You didn't see it? Oh, it's there. Yeah, it's playing. Okay, that, that's a uh, 
that's an Atlanta Calibut down in uh, Clark's Harbor. And this is pro. This is a girl lady that graduated with me, with me and she's an expert in spawning Atlanta Calibut. So she's crazy good. And that was my end of my presentation. Help feed the world with Lelio. That's great. So um, the number of, of opportunities is incredible. And I know you've had a long history of um, different careers. And I know you're very passionate about what you do now. And I know how much you love your students. But what has been the favorite part of all of your experience through aquatics, aquaculture? I guess there's a, there's a few. There's so many to, to note. I'll go on the fish side. When I was a hatchery manager, when you see your fish coming in as a little tiny egg, you know, five millimeters big, and they grow into a smolt, and then they leave your hatchery, and then they go out to the cage site, and then they're growing up to market size. And you had some part of that help feed the, you know, feed communities, feed the Nova Scotia. That that really you take pride in that. Uh, it's a it's a product. Uh, you know, you treat your animals well you know, under the CCAC guidelines. And uh, just knowing that you, you've taken some small part in that life cycle to reach the market uh, size, it's a, it's, a, it's a great achievement and I'm very proud of that. And another thing is teaching students and seeing the smiles uh, on their faces when they learn about this subject and, and all the opportunities out there for them. And after them coming back to me after three years after being in the industry and now making, you know, Huge money being assistant managers or managers on BC or Nova Scotia Coast. I have so many examples of them. I didn't put any in, but that's uh, that makes me happy that I can do something like that for them. That's wonderful. We do have one more question. Uh, it is, what's your work-life balance? And I know you're a big believer in that one. Uh, what do you talk? What do you talk a little bit about how you balance that? Okay, so when I was a fish farm manager, I mean you're on call 24 hours a day, but you do have staff that help you along with that. Uh, you do have your life at work. You do have your outside life. So when you leave work, you can leave work. I, I mean, I play hockey. I have a DJ business as well. I'm crazy DJ. Uh, so those of you that don't know me. Uh, uh, but right now, as being an instructor, you know, you go to work, you come back, you have your life here, you, you know, you can do extracurricular activities. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a balance, of course. You struggle and... There's good days and bad days. I'm not going to lie, uh, but uh, being an instructor at Dalhousie with aquaculture, you know, you take home your work, you do work at work on weekends and marking and uh, whatnot. But I mean, you do have a life and you do have a good life. And uh, you know, I support a daughter and my wife, and we have a nice home and two dogs, and that's it. It's good. That's awesome. great. Thank you so much. Uh, we do have time for one more question. I'll see if there's anything uh, in the chat yet. It has been wonderful to have you present. I think you shared so many um, options for students when they're thinking about career uh, in aquaculture. It's unending, as you said, and uh, fascinating, um, and also great for anyone who wants to continue working in the Maritimes. And it is such has such a strong history to um, you know our economy, and uh, it's it's been really inspiring. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, I seen a question in the chat. Do I still fish for pleasure? <laughs> absolutely absolutely i love fish and mackerel lobster trout anything i can catch i love fish fish and squid too awesome. that's a great question <laughs> no such thing as too much fish eh? no 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 i love being outdoors awesome okay All thank right. you scott thanks for spending yeah. your time good luck with your next presentation thank you and uh we'll we'll talk to you soon see you cheers okay. guys